Hi, this is Keith, and you're probably watching YouTube. My channel is Kanji Keith. Today I just wanted to talk a bit about something that Steve Kaufman said in his video about the research, researchers, and the contradictory information that they can conclude from different subjects. Well, as far as I know, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, but um, most of the research done on the brain, what they can see is brain activity. So they may see brain activity in the left side, or the right side, or the front, or the back, but what they're seeing is like the blood flow or there's another one that can sense the amount of oxygen and then what the researchers are doing is they have an experiment right now for language learning it's usually uh, the person's listening to something um, or could be that they're speaking usually has something to do with language the researcher tries to control the environment and then see what kind of activity is going on in the brain but that's about all that they can you know see is that there is activity and where that activity is taking place you know uh, do this activity do this uh, experiment and there's a certain amount of activity in the brain here and then do this experiment and there's more activity in the same area or the activity is in the different area. So they match um, what the uh, subject, the person who was being analyzed, was experiencing, experiencing to what they had uh, for activity in their brain. Now, what they cannot do is tell you exactly what the brain is trying to do. They know where the activity is and they know what's going on outside the person. So I think um, a lot of times they just draw their own conclusions. If a person's listening to some information, they might say, oh, that person, uh, they have to process the grammar in order to understand uh, what's going on so grammar processing goes on in this part of the brain but they can't know that for sure all they can know is there's activity there and then they try to uh, give a reason for that activity and they can't tell you whether the brain is processing grammar or what's really going on all they can do is, is tell you the response that they see in the brain. So a lot of times I think the the, re the conclusions that the researchers draw is wrong because they're assuming that they're assuming what the brain is doing, what the brain is trying to do. So one researcher does something and says, oh look we have uh, this evidence that uh, this activity was going on in the brain here and this is what we think that means and then of course an article uh, it, it, th this research may get published in a scientific article and then a news writer uh, picks up that information and writes a little article about about this research and then everybody uh, everybody who agrees with the research says oh look uh, there's this proof we have research they're doing research that shows that uh, grammar is has to be processed otherwise you can understand and this is where it takes place but they cannot really uh, tell what's going on at that level the, what happens in why things happen in the brain and what exactly is being processed uh, is still quite a mystery they can see activity, they can measure the activity, how much and how quickly the brain responds and things like that, but they can't, they haven't gotten further into 
uh, you know, knowing what's going on, uh, take a lot more information and experiments to really uh, get to the point where you can see if someone is thinking about grammar or thinking in which language or what they're actually doing in their brain. So I think that's why we have all these uh, contradictions in research and people drawing conclusions that I, you know, you look at the research and you cannot, you know, believe, you know, you can't believe that they know what they're doing. Um, I mean, they know what they see, but their conclusions, I think, um, maybe based on assumptions, a lot of them. So you have to, if you find these uh, articles, I think most of the time, most of them, they're not really, I don't see them as dependable. They're not dependable sources. I mean, sometimes you see oh, something that uh, that backs up what I believe, you know, and then you get excited about it. But if you look at it and then look at the kind of research that was done, and then you realize, well, they can't really jump to that conclusion, but they are anyway. And I don't think that uh, it's, it's fair for them to do that. Uh, regular people just take these research and and believe what uh, whatever's published so I think we need to be wary of when researchers say or make some claims that their research doesn't back up that they may be making some assumptions and we should watch out for that Thanks for listening.